It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we got a keg for the blade. This is a beer of Messina Cristalli de Sale. It's a European pale lager from Italy. Uh, it's an eight litre keg. So first of all, we're gonna show you how to load the keg and then we're gonna get straight into the beer review because I've chilled this keg right down. Nice and right down, like four degrees right down. So it should, as soon as it goes in that machine, the temperature gauge should drop really quickly. And then we can get on with the drinking. So, so far the, uh, let's just drop that a bit. There you go. Right, so we, first of all, just taking the dome off the top of the blade beer machine. Uh, blade beer machine, if you don't know, is that machine machine over there. Uh, we've turned the machine on. So what you do, you grab your keg, spin it over, and do your line. Take the top off the line, and you're only touching the orange bits on the keg. So you're touching that orange tap there. And this is a kind of a, well, to unlock the keg really. So we're going to move it to the side, push it down with a bit of force. Oh, they always get me. <laughs> they always get me. There we go. That's pushed down nicely. And then you grab, you grab your line, put it between your fingers, lift it up. Oh, do we want... The machine, ah, it'll be in the front anyway, yeah. So, um, you've got your beer line in your hand, spin the keg up like so. Easiest way to do it. Load it in to the machine like so. Pull your tap up. Oh, there you go. Fit your line in, so you've got an orange part here, that's for your beer line to slide into. That slides down, that slides back up. You lock your machine, well, first of all, I normally put the dome back on. There you go. You lock the keg in with this switch here. You'll hear the keg pressurising. Turn the light on if you want. And job done. Your keg's loaded. So, within a, a few seconds, what did that take? I mean, the video's been going for three minutes and I was probably talking for two. I probably loaded that keg in a minute. I've had a couple of comments recently saying um love to get a beer machine but they did a bit of a faff well i got an answer to that and that is for one minute oh, okay you've got to put the keg in the fridge 24 hours to let it cool down nicely but once that's done and you you get it loaded into the machine there's eight liters of beer there that's you know unless you're king kong you're not going to be going through that in a day type of thing unless you have guests round. But I'm not gonna be able to drink eight liters of lager in a day. That'll do me. If, I'm, if, I'm, if I have a good weekend, if the sun's shining, bank holiday weekend, Friday to Monday, I'll do it in four days, eight liters, that's two liters of beer a day. But for that two liters of beer a day, it's taken me a minute to load the machine, and I've got keg quality beer keg quality beer that you normally get from the pub sitting here in my garden you grab a glass now what what i tend to do is pull some beer through the line and the reason i do that is we want to pour a good pint we want to pour a decent beer i've, I've just picked the keg up sat it down not really shaking it up too much but to give the beer a chance get the beer in the line so you've got a line full of beer either throw it away or do what I do a 
drink that. You've also wetted your glass as well. So you've got a wet glass. You're giving yourself a chance to pour a decent pint. So here we oh that tastes good. Let's get into this then. Let's um let's pour this beer. Look at that. One to two finger white head. Hazy, they call it crystal. Crystal the sale. I was expecting a clear beer, but it's not. It's a hazy looking lager. Nice levels of carbonation down the side of the glass. <clears throat> Hazy straw coloured, let's get the aroma then. Oh, it's lovely and hoppy. It's quite floral for a, for a lager. Mmm, zesty. Like lemon flavours coming through. It smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That is a really, really good quality lager stone the crows stone the crows <clears throat> wow that's ah, lime it's a lime infused lager i definitely get some Real zestiness, real, real zestiness to it. I've not looked at any reviews, I've not looked on Untapped. Just go into my beer reviews blind because I like to kind of guess with you guys, give you an, an honest opinion of what I think of the beer rather than reading other people's opinions. <clears throat> that is really, really good, really good. Zesty, lemony, limey, crisp, clean, refreshing, drinkable lager. Nicely carbonated. 5% ABV. 5% ABV. Wow. That is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I've got a bottle version here somewhere as well. I got a bottle of this knocking around somewhere. I, I haven't been able to find it, but I could have done a comparison to see what the bottle's like, to see, you know, just how hazy the bottle is compared to the keg beer. But look at the quality of the beer now. Look as I rock the beer back and forth, roll the beer around in the glass. This is, this is pub quality keg beer that you're drinking from home. And it's absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I really, really like that. Beer and Messina. Yeah, Beer and Messina, Cristal de Sale. Beautiful drinking beer. I mean, poof, the sun's shining. I'm not going to be able to help myself this afternoon with this. Now it's on the keg. Now it's, now it's locked and loaded. Friday afternoon, here we come. I like that beer enough to give, it, to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!